you look at this and say, no, nope, it's not for me. I don't, I don't agree with it. It doesn't work, whatever. That's, that's totally fine. Just, you know, take a look at it and see if it's, it's, it's not normal. People normally don't do this. All right, I love this stuff. So we have the 1000 watt inverter here. This is gonna go into the EcoFlow Delta Pro and it's gonna be on when we're driving. So one of the issues is this just stays, goes on all the time unless you turn it on and off with the on and off switch. It doesn't know that the bat or the alternator is running or not running. So to get around that, you need to have a, um, an inverter that has ability to put a remote switch on not wireless just a wired remote switch that you know push button whatever and so it has that ability once it has that ability you can get something like this which is from uh, Ames power and this is an Ames power inverter too um, again, no sponsor. We have zero sponsors and we don't necessarily want any sponsors, so it's fine. But this is the the switch. So what you do on the Sprinter, you have the ability to, and I'll show you, I think uh, maybe you can see it. No, I'll show you this way. I think they call this a builder, builder's block. Not positive. But you have three terminals here behind here. If I can pop this out. Okay, here we go three terminals the this one is always on so this is power so this is coming from your battery so this one in the middle is always on so always hot this one here is only when the engine is running so engine on and running so alternator on this one here is ignition on so when you if you don't put the brake on in the sprinter and you hit the button it'll go to that spot and this will be that there so this is the one that I connected the signal wire to, so this white wire. And that white wire then tells this box that the ignition is on and the alternator is running. So basically the engine's running at that point. So that is super handy to have that in there. So I hook those wires into there. And then there's a, just a normal remote, wired remote that you have a cable that's right here, like a telephone wire, that then you run that through and run into the back of your inverter. I'll show you a little bit on the inverter in a second once I kind of clean up the mess. That The seat is super heavy and inconvenient to move um, because of that swivel. Without the swivel, it is really lightweight, but anyway it's a mess i'm going to put it back together i never screw these on i actually use the um like 3m uh body tape i guess a uh, car body tape or whatever but super strong it's not going to hurt if it fell in there anyway i mean i could put it just like this here which i may end up doing um just down in there you know and just zip tie it or whatever that's probably better so it would never fall out but that's basically it. So now I will show you when I click the, or when I actually start the, the fan. So I'm gonna put the brake in, hit this. Okay, and it's on. So we have, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Apologize for the camera work here. But there, there's a green light. So it's on. Now you watch as I turn it off, I hit the power. It clicked it off. So it basically just acts as a switch. It's nothing fancy. I think you can do this without this, um, maybe like a DPST switch, but this was like $40 and it's done. So now we have a DC to DC charger, basically a thousand watts, uh, which is about uh, 80 amps, running off of this every time this engine starts in the Sprinter.
and so we will have a lot of power being pushed right now on the 4x4 i have three dc to dc chargers that do the same thing and it works this this is a little easier setup so i like it so we'll see how it works i will definitely give you a review in the future but i'm going to clean everything up and i'm going to show you the inverter from the other side okay so here is the final setup eco pro or eco flow delta pro we have a thousand watt pure sign um, inverter this is set to only charge at 900 watts so that way it's under the 80 amps now there's a switch on here that's plugged in here going underneath the seat i showed you earlier now you'll see um i'll have to start the engine so let me get this set up and you will see if i can get the delta pro both of them so you'll see here this will go actually I have it set at a thousand now so you'll see input at a thousand and you'll see the screen light flip on when i go ahead and turn on the engine Okay, so I don't know if that screen is going to show. I can get it to show. But it's 900. I don't know if I can get you a good shot. 958, 960. The inverter is on. There's a green light here. The fan will turn on if necessary when it gets too hot. This will, the light's not really good. This will max out then at 1000 for the input the charging input and it'll stop there so anytime we start the engine and we take off we will have power going to the D delta pro from the delta pro it's then all the time you know, let me flip off the radio from here it'll go out dc out so yeah you can see the screen better there even though it's probably flipping but it says 54 minutes to full charge, which is at 82% now. It's at 999, basically 1,000 uh, 1, for the input. Um, this is the output going to the fuse, the Anderson um, connector fuse block. Um, that will also be pulling amps for the refrigerator River Pro. So really slick. Now when I go ahead and turn off the engine, this will be easier to do. Everything else shut down. Okay. Inverter shut down. Input shut down to zero. When I start it back up, back to a thousand. That way I don't have to worry about turning that on and off. We have an automatic inverter that runs uh, the power of the Delta Pro. So that is the setup there. Um, hopefully you guys get something out of some of these videos you know i enjoy doing them i'm definitely i always say a thousand times i'm no expert at this but i enjoy doing it so if you look at this and say nope it's not for me i don't i don't agree with it it doesn't work whatever that's that's totally fine just you know take a look at it and see if it's 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 not normal people normally don't do this as far as i know you know it's normally the Victron or the or DC to DC chargers. This is a little different uh, way of setting it up. I think it's slick. I think it'll work great. And I'll, I'll I'll give you reviews on as we go down the road because many times I implement something and then two months down the road it's like hmm, didn't quite work how I planned. But I think this one will. This is super slick. These Eco Pro or Eco Flows charge super fast. I think it's going to work great. Um, so anyway, I have that installed and uh, on to the next project. It's never ending, but it goes pretty fast if you plan it correctly and you set it up uh, correctly as far as your design. So anyway, I'll, I'll talk about that more later in another video, but we will see you in the next video.